Takwa is actually a huge mine. Uh, it's an open pit. You are looking at 100 million tons. And out of this 100 million tons, we treat 13.5 million tons as our target. The grades are low, so we have to push a lot of tons through the crashing second and also the mill. On daily basis, on the crashing side, we're looking at about 40 to 45,000 tons. Because of the high throughput, I mean, there's no margin for error. Any time you lose, it affects what you're able to go through and to report on. And so it puts a lot of challenge on the whole team because there's no room for slips. Any slip means that you don't meet your targets. The fixed equipment, like the crashes, and then the mills and the pumps, everything has to be ticking. Because if you lose one or the other, then obviously it affects your ability to deliver on your targets. In 2013, the hip leach operation was not viable anymore, so far as our, our reserves were concerned. The hardness of a rock went up, and to crash uh, that volume, for you to make the gold out of it was actually a bottleneck, it was actually a big challenge. So the hip leach operation was closed down and uh, we have to focus on the CI to see how best we can also optimize the CI plant. This mine was doing 13,2 million tons in a year. On the first year, we managed to move it from 13.2 to 13.5 because of the upgrade that we did on the, on the crashing circuit. We tend to have a few restrictions in the melon side, but with the product that is coming from the crashes, from Sambi. Initially, we were doing minus 25. Now we are able to optimize the circuit to be getting minus 17. And that has given us a huge improvement when it comes to the melon operation. It has been wonderful. Uh, we, we do quite well in terms of our availability and utilization of the plants. On the crashing circuit, I think we do something like around 93 to 94% availability, which is quite high for an operation like this. Sandvik brings a lot of um, expertise in terms of diagnosis of the issues or the problems that we have, and then in terms of uh, supplying us with equipment and uh, obviously engineers and technicians to resolve issues when we have them. They are always ready to come and assist us.